Yo ho everybody and welcome to another edition of Yenzer on Hockey. So before we begin, make sure you go down below, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you click the little bell so you stay up to date on all the off-season happenings. So what I want to do today is uh, take a look at the, uh, the draft coming up on Friday. I wanted to take a look at the first round of the NHL draft and try to project what five teams I think are most likely to move out of their current draft position be it move up or move down or just trade out of the first round entirely. So we're just going to do these from the top of the draft order on down. Uh, starting with uh, the number three draft pick is the Montreal Canadiens. And I can kind of envision a scenario where Montreal trades down a couple of spots, maybe into the six, seven, eight range to to draft Jesperi Kokaniemi because I believe they are in such a desperate situation to draft the center, but drafting Kokaniemi at third might be a little bit high for what he's projecting to be. And I think they would like to just get a little bit more value on that pick and, and maybe drop down a couple of spots and still get the guy that they wanted all along anyway. Secondly, is, um, the number four pick is the Ottawa Senators, uh, the second on the list of five here. And I think Ottawa may consider optioning this pick to Colorado. They have an option in the Matt Duchesne trade where they can give Colorado this draft pick instead of their number one draft pick next year. And I think that's contingent upon whether or not they're able to get a deal worked out uh, with Eric Carlson as to whether to trade him or if they get a long-term agreement assigned, <clears throat> agreed upon before the draft that that would determine the direction they went with this pick. But I think if they do get a deal done to trade Eric Carlson, I, I could see Ottawa optioning this pick to Colorado in hopes of being in a better position next year and still having their number one draft pick. Uh, number three on my list is the number seven pick, the Vancouver Canucks. Um, this has been highly speculated that Vancouver has been looking to trade out of this spot. Um, looking to trade back and acquire more draft picks to help their rebuild process and where they are in the beginning of the process now that they're moving on from the Sedins who decided to retire. And I, I can see <clears throat> a scenario where Vancouver drops back in the draft um, to, uh, to acquire some more assets. Uh, number four on my list is uh, the number 11 and 12 picks belong to the New York Islanders. Um, I, I think that the Islanders may consider packaging these picks up, going up into like that five, six, seven range, trying to get up there and, and uh, target some of the bigger name guys. I, I don't know who they have on their draft board. On they, I don't know who they have on their draft board, but um, there's a lot of quality defensemen up there in the top tier of the draft. Uh, New York Islanders obviously need defensemen, so you could see a scenario where they go up there. And, uh, and try to get one of the uh, the top four or five defensemen that are on the board. And uh, for me, number five on this list uh, belongs to the 26th and 28th picks in this draft, and that belongs to the New York Rangers. They were acquired via trades um, from uh, various trades this year, one with Boston, one with Tampa Bay. Um, and I could see them also doing something similar with the Islanders, and that's packaging up these picks to move up higher into the draft, maybe get themselves into a, a top 15 position to uh, to be able to be in a better position to uh, to find somebody that they kind of really take a shine to and have a, somebody they really like high up on their draft board, go up there into that top 15 range and be able to get somebody up there. Um, so those are five teams that I think could be moving around their draft picks, uh, possibly positioning themselves better for the future by either going up higher to get a better quality player or dropping down lower to collect some more assets and um, and uh, help rebuild for the future. So let me know down in the comments below, uh, is there any other teams that you suspect might be moving in the draft? Um, is there uh, any big splash trades that we could see happening down the road um, during the draft? I mean... Uh, just let me know in the comments below what you guys are thinking about the NHL draft. Are you guys excited as I am? I'm ready for it. And uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe on the video. And uh, follow me on all the social medias listed in the description below. And until we see you again next time, have a good day.